So for our product archaeology, we are working with the Sunbeam 1600 compact hair dryer. So just to show you that it works before this video dissection begins, we have high speed and low speed. So it works. Now to take it to the dissection table. First we gotta get these screws out so that we can get the product disassembled. Okay. One screw out. Next screw out, and then you see that the shell is in two parts. So, not breaking anything that's supposed to come off. Alright, so that comes off, and now you can see that there are two parts of the shell. You've got the back part, which is the part where the screws go in, and basically, this is where the air is going to come in to the hair dryer, and the motor is going to spin it around. And then I'll show you in a second, it's going to go through the little heating section and it's going to come out the front. And there are safety guards on both sides so that nothing foreign that's not supposed to come in. So basically, it keeps stuff out of the front and then it keeps, like, you know, hair, dirt, grime from coming into the motor in the back. So next, you can kind of see that when I hooked it up, obviously, just like any electrical appliance, that the outlet goes into the wall and then the electricity is traveling through the wire comes to the little switch right here goes to the real switch which um, just basically is controlling the amount of electricity that is going to both the fan and the heating section and there is an off speed which is in the middle a low speed on the bottom and a high speed on the top and also correlating no heat low heat and high heat and that's all directly correlated to the amount of electricity that is let through the system, the circuit. Alright, so I'm going to take this part out so that we can get a better look at it. And there's just the inside of the other half of the shell. And there's some insulation for the heat in here too so that none is lost and it doesn't reach the plastic and it starts heating the plastic and possible melting can occur. So now that we have this part off, you can kind of see in better detail both the motor, which the motor is right here, and you can see that the electrical wires are not really hooked directly to the motor, but they're more hooked to the heating structure. And then from the heating structure, you can see like this little black wire comes around and it's coming down and actually going to the motor. So the electricity is distributed fairly well between both the motor and the heating coils and essentially what happens is is the electricity makes the fan spin the fan brings air in and at the same time also pushes that air out through this section like that so it'll bring the air in push the air out at the same time electricity is heating this wire and the result is the air meets with the heat and the heat speeds up the molecules in the air and then it's pushed back out and it reaches your hair, it evaporates the water in your hair and that's basically how the product works so yeah so all in all it goes from the electricity coming from the from the from the wall socket into the outlet traveling up through the wire here on the switch you control how much electricity is actually being brought into the system from there it is transferred to the heating little apparatus and from the heating apparatus it's distributed 
between the metal wire and the fan and then like I explained before the air comes in it's pushed through the heat the heat uh, speeds up the air molecules and then the air molecules come out goes to your hair it dries the water in your hair and you do not have wet hair anymore after you take a shower or whatever any reason your hair is wet so yeah that's how it works okay so now we are going to put the hair dryer back together so we're going to fit the heating coil wire thing structure back onto the, the kind of the base that is connected to the motor so that it will be free from motion and that it will be safe for use and at this point now we're going to insert the heating part back into the first section of the shell going to line the wires up and the switch back into the position that it needs to be in in order to operate correctly. Kind of wrap all of the wire around back the way that it, it is intended to go. Pop the switch back on here so that that will work properly. There we go. I think. We'll see. Now I'm going to try to. cover back on. Try to get a good tight fit first. I have to see that that switch didn't go on there. There we go. Try to get that in there really good. Now I'm going to put the screws back in and go ahead and Start putting it back together there. Make sure to put those screws in first before I tighten them all the way. It's a good trick to know if you're ever screwing anything in. Don't ever screw one screw in all the way and tighten it. Otherwise things will go terribly wrong. Trust me, no. I am an expert. Alright. I'm go back now and make sure that these screws are in there really good. That they are going to get really tight so that this thing is not coming apart unless I try to do it again. Alright, All right, let's put that together. And just to show you that I didn't tamper with it and it still works. 